Some players are so talented that they can alter their approaches in certain situations and get the desired results. This is not true for 99% of the population. Let's go swing the bat. When we talk about a level swing, we really mean a swing that stays along the same plane for a long period of time. That gives you the best chance to get the bat head to the baseball. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a little BP. Why don't you check this out? Billy, you loose? Let's go. Oh! Almost. Sounds good. A little better. Oh. All right, that might give you some idea. Let me share a drill with you that helps take a nice, quick, short, direct path to the baseball. It's called the one-arm drill. Now basically, we put two hands on the bat, and we're taking about five, six, seven swings just to get everything loose. Then we take the top hand off the bat, okay? So we're left with just the bottom hand on the bat. This hand right here directs you to the ball, okay? Let me demonstrate this, it might be a little easier. So when we're doing this drill, I'm gonna have taken five swings already. You saw me get loose, so now I'm gonna take my top hand off the bat, and we're just gonna work on taking the bat head to the ball. Now this is supposed to be difficult, so don't get frustrated with it. I like to do it down on the knob, but if you have trouble controlling the bat head, it's okay to come up on the bat just a little bit so you can get more stability. So I'm gonna stay down on the knob right here, get in this position, and try to take the bat head to the ball. Oh, nice line drive. And again, the bottom hand is your lead hand. It directs where the bat's gonna go. So you should start to feel a direct pass to the ball. Now when you put both hands back on, you should feel a nice short direct pass to the baseball. Like that. All righty, Kyle, why don't you come on out here and show us your one hand strength. Let's start out first by uh, swinging five times like your regular swing, just so we make sure you're loose. Very nice. Okay, simply take the uh, top hand off the bat. There you go. Nice. It's gonna feel a little unstable, and if it feels too much, it's okay to choke up a little bit. Gives you a little more control. Okay, now back with two hands on the bat. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, one more. Let's finish up one more. Now, after you put both hands back on the bat, did you feel uh, a little difference? You feel a little shorter path to the ball? Yeah, I feel it. Now that's the idea. Now, we like to do it in five rep sessions, five with two hands, five with one hand, and finish up with five, but it's okay to extend that. If you're the only one hitting the cage, it's okay to extend to 10 or 15, 10 or 15, back to 10 or 15. You've done a great job so far. We're gonna talk about some, some specific hitting situations. Is that okay? Let's go. We don't cover situational hitting per se in our camps. We really are trying to get through the basic mechanics of a swing and give the kids some building blocks in a short period of time. However, learning how to approach certain situations can help develop what we call the ideal swing, short and quick to the ball, like a hit and run play or any time you're asked to move a runner over. Let's watch the pros do it. Notice how short and compact their swings are and how their hands, wrists, and forearms do most of the work. He hits one through the right side, a base hit. I'm getting tired of sitting here and doing nothing. Can we go back out there and hit now? Sure we can, let's go. The one-arm drill that we did in the last segment is a great way to work on getting the bat head to the ball in a short, direct path 
which is essential to executing the hit and run play or trying to move a runner over. There is another drill that is helpful to teaching hitters to trust their hands, to wait and let the ball travel or get deep before pulling the trigger and swinging. Now we call that the lob toss drill. Now the lob toss drill, so just so you understand it, it's like slow pitch softball. The ball is going to come in an arc, be really slow. So what we really have to do here is to wait, and that's what the drill is designed to do, is to make you, force you to wait. Um, Terry Crowley, our hitting coach at uh, the Orioles, and I used to work on that the last couple years because I had a bad habit of jumping out in front. This drill forces you to wait as long as you can and let the ball travel, and then you have to explode on the ball all at once. It's a little bit difficult drill because if you leak or if you move your body at all in the direction before the ball gets to the plate, you will lose your energy and it will be very difficult to hit the ball. So the idea here is to stay on the back side as long as you can. Now, uh, if you want to, you can crouch a little bit and kind of stay on your back side. You know, that's okay uh, for the purpose of this drill because it helps you and enables you to wait longer. This is what it looks like. So you have to wait to the very last possible moment and then explode on it. Sit down in your stance, wait, and explode on it. So everything comes at once. It all comes at once. All right, you guys ready to give it a try? All right, come on out. Now if you notice, Cal didn't hit any ground balls to that side of the infield. That'll tell you he was waiting enough. If you get out there too far and you leak, that's when you start hitting ground balls to this side. Let the ball travel, trust yourself, then explode. There we go. Got a boy. Still off Wait, the end. Trust yourself and then explode. Try to think back up the middle too. That, that'll be a helpful uh, approach to this drill. There we go. Nice going. Wait as long as you can. There we go. Okay, next. That's a nice hop job in, hop right out, there. Guys. All right. Let it come to you. Very nice. Wait as long as you can and go all at once. Very that a good. boy, good swing. Very good. All right, you got the hang of it. Jump out. Next. Once again, make sure you let the ball travel, then explode. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, jump out. Next one. Oh, off the end. Let it get there. Let it get there. Trust yourself. Wait a half second longer. See how long you can wait and let it go. Almost get to home plate and then just pop it. Very That's a good. Boy. All right, next. Much better. Let it travel now. Oh, very nice. All right, all right. Nice job, everybody. Back to the classroom for our next lesson.